What up guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm I've just spotted a new Yamaha motorcycle showroom here in Shanghai you can see it in the background probably and I've come to take a look at what they have on display so let's go in and see what they have and before I even go in they have this baby motorcycle displayed right here I think an adult can ride it as well um, and you move to this other side and there's an off-roader right here it's what the YZ 250F so that looks like a 250cc with all those knobby tires it's looking all cool yeah let's go in and see what is inside and I've just spotted another one a really cool looking um, there's quite a bit of reflection here but let me try to zoom in so it's XSR 900 so I'm assuming it's a 900 CD 900 CC motorcycle it's looking all cool I like the engine it looks really beefy uh, it's definitely a road bike but yeah it looks really high quality I'm assuming this is imported from Japan because I don't know of a Yamaha factory assembly plant here in China it looks really well built so let's go in now and take a look at what they have on display R1 is on display as well let's do a quick walk around I'm not really into sports bikes so I don't know which year model this is but it's looking cool sports bike is not really my thing but you never know maybe one day sports bikes will win me over for now I'm an adventure kind of guy but for all those who are interested in sports bikes this is for your eye and I'm liking the showroom setup it's really nice uh, they've got a Yamaha piano so it's a Yamaha motorcycle flagship store here in Shanghai and this is RM1 carbon fiber all over those of you who know about this let me know what the difference is between the R1M and R1 I'll be interested to know but from the look on the outside it's got carbon fiber and it's got gold plated forks and overall it's looking much nicer the finishing is much nicer than the regular R1 so comment section let's know what you think let's let's know what you know about the R1M This is my kind of area where you have the Tracer 900 GT. So I've just been told that this is the outgoing model. I've never really taken a closer look at Yamaha, Yamaha bikes, but this is a, um, according to them, the outgoing model. They are waiting for uh, delivery of the new models. But this is how it looks when it's all set up. And I'm just gonna try to go closer and give you a closer look it's looking good nicely specced with crash guards pioneer racks and boxes 
all-in suspension adjustment. I think it's manual, it's not automatic. Quick shifter, wide seat. It looks really ready for adventure. Big windscreen or windshield. And from the rear, it's looking really cool. Very meaty tire. I like it. The whole setup looks very high quality and ready to tackle the odds. Adventure ready. That's what's up. And I've seen one or two of these bikes on the road and she's just telling me that you don't see many of them in Shanghai. I've only seen one in Shanghai because she's saying that according to regulations in Shanghai you can't register a three-wheeler motorcycle um, so those who have them have them outside Shanghai and other cities so that's a Nikon or Nikon GT uh, it looks really cool I don't know if I'm into this kind of bike yet but it looks really cool and it looks like it will be very stable on the road but it's a really nice bike to look at and I like the engine bay, it looks really satisfied and everything looks really good quality wise. The front end is almost as wide as their 1250 GS because it has those two wheels in front. So once again anyone who owns this bike or has experience with it can share how it feels when riding. I feel like with the two wheels in front it's going to be more stable but uh, I don't know how maintenance is going to be like so if you have any experience let us know in the comment section. They also have a lot of ATVs display on display. So if you are the adventure kind of person, this is a place for you. And a generator for those for those times when you are outdoors and you need power. Yamaha got you. This cool looking electric bike. Just a tamping so the bar. 这个好像就是自己自行车的 So it looks like kind of, she's not very sure but it looks like kind of, some sort of a and uh, an aided bike I was asking if you can you need to plug it into power and she's saying she's not sure so it's probably just a bicycle but it has a motor that aids you uh, during your riding so yeah that's looking really cool and in the background there is a service center there's a service center right there so uh, it looks like it's a complete package for Yamaha owners. And they got some jet, jet skis on display. Is that the proper name? Yeah, I think jet skis. That's a smaller one and the yellow, the blue one looks really nice to me. Looks like a two or three, looks like a three seater. The blue one looks like a three seater. So it's much bigger. It's not been open yet. Today they're just um, organizing the place. Uh, but it's going to be open from tomorrow onwards and then you can uh, have a feel of all of these. So 
Yeah. All right, guys, there you have it. So that was a quick tour of their new Yamaha motorcycle and ATV jet ski showroom that is opening in Shanghai. She just told me that today they're just cleaning up and getting ready, setting up for tomorrow, which is the grand opening. So on any other day when I come, I'll be able to see uh, a bit more, a few more bikes are going to be added. And you can have a trial you can have a trial bike available to have a feel of what's, what their bikes are going to be like. They're going to be some bikes for trial, so when I come on another day, I'll have the chance to ride some trial bikes. So, that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. And uh, let's subscribe to the channel and follow this motorcycle vlogging journey. Let's like the video and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel once again. Thank you so much for coming along. Till I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace out.